updates as we get there. If you've been to the lake shore recently, you may have noticed a large amount of dead fish washing ashore. It's an unpleasant sight, but Michigan's Department of Natural Resources say they know what's going on here. Our Matt Whitghost joins us in the studio with a closer look. Matt. Yeah, Josh, the massive ale life die off has happened before. The DNR says we are witnessing the first one in over a decade. A fishery biologist says there's good news to seeing this happen. If you are walking on the Grand Haven State Park Beach over the holiday weekend, you might have seen lots of dead fish. Their populations exploded back in the 1950s and 60s. There basically wasn't much for predators for them. The Alewife is a fish that is several inches long and silver in color. Jay Wesley with the DNR says they're one of 180 invasive species in the Great Lakes. Thinking that we're going to manage for native only is just impossible. So we just got to deal with them as they come in and, and change our management strategy to, to stay on top of them. This one comes from the Atlantic Ocean. They're coming in shallower this time of year to spawn and that that puts them in areas that have um, fre frequent temperature changes. And they're probably somewhat malnourished. A lot of when we have strong year classes of alewife, they can't find enough to eat out there. Wesley says those two reasons and living in fresh water are why the fish are dying off. Uh, the die off we have this year is probably in the millions. No issues with, you know, pollution or anything in Lake Michigan. It's probably the cleanest it's, it's been um, since the Clean Water Act came out. And while the beach trip might not be as picturesque for the time being, seeing all these dead fish can be good. Alewife are prey fish, and Wesley says to better balance the ecosystem, the DNR is looking at stocking more salmon. Chinook salmon feed exclusively on them, almost 99% of their diet sale away. Wow. Wesley says in the past, the die off would wrap up in July. He says they see the dead ale life reaching from Grand Haven all the way up to the Mackinac Bridge. In studio, I'm Matt Whitcoast, Fox 17 News.